Hello YouTube, this is Jeremiah James. I've got a guitar lesson per request of a subscriber for Burnout by Imagine Dragons. We are in standard tuning. I've got a capo here on the first fret. The reason that capo is on the first fret is because I transposed the song to give us open chords here. So if you're a beginner, it is all open chords and it's a very good beginner song to learn. I'm going to have the tabs and the chord charts up to the left of my head to the right of the video and we will progress through the tutorial that way. Before I get started, I want to remind you to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if these tutorials do help you. I really appreciate that. And then also last week I came out with my first song called Rest of My Days. I'll have the link below in the description. If you want to listen to that, I'd really appreciate it. And if you really like it and want to purchase it, I would really, really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get started on this guitar lesson for Burnout by Imagine Dragons. Oh, also I'm repping my Milwaukee Bucks jersey because uh, there's the MVP debate going on about who the MVP is and I'm just saying Who I think the MVP is so anyway back to guitar. Okay, so the first part of the song is this So I'm going to walk through that. We've got an F open chord. One, two, three, four, G, A minor, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, G, C, two, three, and then they play this. Okay, so let's walk through that all again here. We've got our F chord that we're starting on. Two, three, four, G, A minor. Two, three, four, F, two, three, four, G, C, two, three, and then it goes. And that walks into the pre-chorus, which sounds like this. part transitions from the verse into the pre-chorus. C, and I'm going down, 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 up, D minor, same strumming, down, 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 up, A minor, down, playing an open G, and then putting my ring finger back on to that second fret, to complete the A minor. Okay, so the first part of the pre-chorus is C, D minor, A minor. Then the second part of the pre-chorus is C, D minor, to our F open. So let's tie all that together. The pre-chorus as a whole sounds like this. And then that leads into, you can either play the lick itself I'm not going to teach you that right now. I'm just going to teach you the chords. So that's the first half of the chorus. We've got an A minor, G, C. You can play that C note and walk down the line and then switch to your F. Okay, so that goes A minor, G, C, F.
that's the first half of the chorus, and the second half of the chorus is this part. So that is G, A minor, C, F. G, A minor, C, and F. And I'm just going down, 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 down. That's all there is to it. There is a little bridge in there and there's some other funky little licks that they do. If you are interested in hearing those in the tab, go ahead and let me know in the comments and maybe I'll get something out there. Um, but that gives you control on how to play about 95% of the song. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this lesson. Hopefully this helped you. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what I'm doing right, like I said. And if I'm doing something wrong, I'm always listening. If there's better ways to help you guys, I am open to suggestions. So uh, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to check out my new single, Rest of My Days, and stay tuned for more videos from me.